They made contact the police. Yeah, they made contact. So we might want to split at this point. <laughs> What's up guys, we're out here in Fullerton, California, uh, meeting up with the Prince of Fullerton, Khalil himself. Khalil's new shop, you guys. The long-awaited journey is, is is to be explained. We want to hear about this thing, man. You know, Khalil's worked his ass off getting this thing off the ground. Local shredder, local ripper. You know, this guy has uh, been with us for a while, so let's uh, let's check out what he has. What's up, brother? How are you, man? Good, Good to see, see you. you. All right, so let's see this thing. This place is big, dude. Welcome to my crib. It's where the magic happens. This is where all the magic happens. I didn't know this place was this big. Yeah, check it out. Very nice, man. We just man. got the lift up over here. Got this okay. project going on. So it's basically an older Land Cruiser with a newer frame underneath it. So a newer Lexus frame. A Lexus frame on a Land Cruiser. Yeah, basically it just has all the newer suspension components. So, the so it's basically just the body, but with like the, the new frame, the new technology yeah. on it, right? If you Very look cool. right here, it's, it's actually going to have a diesel motor inside of it. What? Which is super rare. That's like, crazy, dude. Yeah. So so let's check out the shop, man. Like, have you officially opened your doors yet? Or? So today actually marks a day for uh, my city business license. So now Very I can't cool. get popped by the post. So oh, cool. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want them getting popped by any post at all. Okay. <laughs> Did you build this table too? Uh, like, actually, a big shout out to my boy, Kevin Casey. Okay. He actually hooked me up with this table. He knew I was getting started. He used this for his shock rebuild. So this is where he kept all the oil. But besides the table, like all all this tooling in here, I was super fortunate. I got it at um, this estate sale. This guy just died and he used them to build his airplanes. So they're all like in really good condition. You even have like an emergency oh, exit yeah. right here. <laughs> so my dad today started ripping out all the insulation because we found out there's a vent in the roof. Oh so shit. So my dad ripped out all the insulation and it fell on my truck. What? So I had to do a whole cleanup on this. It's all dirty up top, but right, no, dad, dude. So dad, your dad did not fall through that roof right no. there. We're good. Okay, good. good. Almost there. <laughs> but none of this was here when I when I got the unit. So this, I did all the plumbing, the orange floor. Nice, dude. This was completely flat. There's no wall there, so my dad and I framed it up. And then oh, so this wall right here? Yeah. This is the entrance. This is like yeah. Yeah, this needs a lot of work still. No, dude, this is I perfect. Don't know if I want to get this on video, but yeah. no, 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 dude. So you saying I, I come in here? Yeah, dude. Khalil's ready for business right here. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. All right. Man, you better get your you better get your ass to the back. Start working, dude. <laughs> I wanted this window here so when you know customers walk in, they can see what's going on. Without That's cool. Free. Like Petco when they're uh, yep. like cutting the dog's hair. Yep, exactly. <laughs> look at this awesome haircut. I mean, look at this miracle haircut. See, so Khalil might be looking for uh, a receptionist, uh, but uh, you better be ugly because his girlfriend will find your ass. <laughs> this is gonna be my parts runner over here. So okay. if I never gave this to me. Oh so shit. I'm gonna go run the ace hardware on the scene, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's what's up. Are you gonna you know what you need to do is you need to like fabricate like some <laughs> rad basket on the back dude, or like something. A, I'm gonna do like a big Harley fairing on the Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plans for this place? Like what do you what kind of projects do you wanna do or what are you thinking of doing, man? So I basically want to I like the custom the truck builds which that's where my heart's at, you know. I think every uh, off-road, you know, that's if they can make the money in that, like they would do that. But we all know you guys are broke asses out yeah. there. <laughs> I'm one of them, and we're looking for the best deal, but it's not always what's best, right? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. Like sometimes, you know, like getting in on a price, like you're waiting on your truck for like like ten years. <laughs> it's <kidding. laughs> Too soon. But, yeah, it's too, too soon. No, I'm just kidding. So that's the dream is yeah. to start building some legit trucks. Yeah. What else are you thinking? I mean, I was trying to get into the whole lift kit thing. Mm -hmm. That's a hard market with four wheel cars and all these other big guys. So I would like to get into that. But as of right now, this is going to be my latest build right here. This is my personal truck that I bought. Okay. Uh, basically, it's going to be, if you look underneath it, Okay. Uh, it's got TTBs. I didn't build that front end. That's why it's kind of janky. But okay. I mean, I'm going to re remodel it and make it look all nice. But 
Yeah. This is going to be like a four-wheel drive uh, crew runner. Nice. Kind of Baja rig. It's five speed, so it'll be kind of cool, you know. It's already. I already did all the two work inside. Oh, okay. So you you did all this cage? Yeah. So this is all done by me. It's kind of rusting away now, but uh, a couple days of scrubbing and she'll be good to oh, go. Oh yeah, dude. Some Scotch Bray. Yep. Anybody who wants to come over and help me scrub this thing, you're more than welcome. To. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you handled all this, huh? Yeah. This is all back here. It's obviously like the fuel cell up here on the rack. Yeah. This one's gonna get dropped in right here. And so you're running the, the fuel cell behind the axle? Yeah, behind the axle. Why is that? Just because that's what my truck is like and it works really well. So I might as well do it again, you know, so. Benefits of running the fuel cell behind uh, the axle versus the front. Because a lot of people will say it's good to run it up here because, you know, you could shock tune and if you're running out of gas, exactly. it'll work the same. But other people say, you know, you run it behind the axle, you get better weight distribution because all the weight's in the front. Yeah, I'm behind the axle just because uh, I've seen friends with them in front of the axle like i've seen my truck in the whoops like not talking shit no 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 boys out there <laughs> he, but, no he's yeah. talking shit dude. let's make that clear fix <laughs> <laughs> your shit <laughs> <laughs> i think they could agree that uh she stays more planted in the whoops when you're at high speeds and kind of just tracks a little better i've ran like a 35 gallon behind the axle and i will say it, it does work work really well like that so this is like the first time I'm actually putting a fuel cell in oh, front. So I'm kind of, I don't know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see what Might need to bring it back here for some viewers. Yeah, we might we might have to figure something out, but uh very cool yeah. man. Yeah. So you're running one one spare or? So I'll have like spare right here and then obviously like all right here and then I might do a dual spare. Okay. Kind of to give give it that old school like yeah. look. That's what I'm going for on this build. Not my truck's kind of sleeper. Yeah. But I want it to be like kinda old school, like bring back the old roots of three hundred days where yeah. it's like, like the Desert Rangers trucks that yeah, we all like drooled that, over. You know? Yeah, those those trucks are uh, iconic, man. So what we all came for the the ultimate <laughs> sleeper killer right here dude i think this truck I'm, I'm gonna say it dude i think like iconic to to the new scene i think pre-runners change and this truck is a big reason as to why i'm gonna go on record saying that guys <laughs> because this thing right here it's a clean ranger like oh yeah cool look little pre-runner right you get closer to this thing and khalil you're gonna have to tell us dude but <laughs> khalil khalil had a different idea in mind i think right when you were gonna build this thing like what were your thoughts about the back and like not moving to the Raptor glass that everybody yeah. seems to be so angry about. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Every Instagram picture. Everybody like, gets so pissed. Yeah. Raptor glass. You know? <laughs> everybody gets pissed, dude. So it all started, you know, um, when I was 16, I saw my buddy's truck, Brandon. And 16? I like, yeah, I was 16. And I had this in stock. And I was just like, you know what? I want a pre runner. They're just so cool. You know, you see them driving around town. They just like freaking just beasts of a truck. You know? and, uh, yeah. well, I got this thing, I started building it, and I saw these trucks, like, yeah, they're badass, but like, like I still like to surf and skate and BMX and all yeah. that. So I was like, well, I want something that's like all around functional, you know? Right. So that's kind of why I did the bed, so I can still carry a dirt bike. So, so let's, yeah, let's, I guess let's take a look, man. This is not here because I just had a beach cruiser, but oh my God. So you're actually using the bed. <laughs> yeah, so I use it all the time, you know? And, uh, Unlike most trucks, you you kept the bed to you said to haul like your dirt bike to oh, move stuff. Bikes, and then also, just to be a little more different with the build. Oh, that's going in the truck, yeah. Oh, this is going in the truck. Yeah, okay. Dynamat. <laughs> right on. You know, it's got a camber three link kit and uh, Fox bypasses, and it works good for what it is, man. It's See, and you would never even notice that. You know, like I said, you guys look at this truck cruising down the street. You know, you don't notice that it's linked. Yeah, those are camber. Um, my opinion, they are one of the best link kits out there. Right on. For the price, you could pull this thing up in a day, you know, it's just like. See, and you guys can see he's running the shocks right here and it's almost like flush with the uh, with the side of the truck. So you could barely tell that this thing's even linked. And then um, it looks like your frame uh, is modified, yeah, right? Yeah, so I, I kicked the whole frame up. It's kind of SI inspired. SI Motorsports. SI Motorsports, um, okay. Yeah, so they, they were like the first people I saw do it. But then I got the fuel cell back here. So this is actually okay. 32 gallon. You fit all up, you know, in case you hit a uh, bar cell main. Oh, dude, <laughs> I know, man. We And we got we got some shots of that thing yeah. over there, bro. <laughs> and you know, I think that's where we met you, dude, is in Barstow, yeah. right? Yeah. Barstow, years ago, man. Yep. About five years ago when you were about 11 or 12 yeah. years old. <laughs> 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 what kind of rear ends on this thing, man? Oh, so that's a curry. It's a curry see. rear end. So let's see. So he has a curry. Is it 35 spine, 40 spine? 35 spine. 35 spine. Crazy 
So, you know, to kind of get back to what we were saying, this thing has a functional tailgate, it has a bed, it has everything under it that would keep it a truck, and it's low key. I think this has inspired a lot of kids, dude, and a lot of people to build their trucks like this. And of course, it's street legal, right? Yep, street legal. In the near future, it's gonna get a V8 swap, but it's gonna be a simple, like, not crazy, like, I'm not gonna beam it, link it. That's what they it. all say. You guys seriously tell Khalil right now not to do it. And tell him just to keep this, what What motor we got in this thing? We got a 4.0. 4.0, tell him to keep the 4.0 because we want to see this thing next season, not in five years. <laughs> just kidding. So you got a 4.0 in it? Beautiful wiring. It's This is like a temporarily forever. You know, right before your, your trip, you're like, Yo, yeah, Yo dude, sure. I'm gonna, wire this up just for this just so you get up for this and it ends up staying forever <laughs> just to get out there kind of thing very dude but everything's super clean in there man isn't that what it's all about yeah you just got to get out there for that get trip there, and then just see how long it holds yep. <laughs> tell me about the front suspension so we have a camberg race kit so if you look down in here we got them fancy camberg hubs nice dude very cool these things work really well i haven't had a single problem and and you beat the yeah. piss out of this thing, so, man. Yeah, this thing gets tortured a little bit. Yeah. Um, but if you want to come from the front, you can get yeah, let's check a better it out. angle. Okay. So you can see it. And a uh, 2.5 coilover by 3.0 bypass. Yeah. And nice, you don't dude. really need this package. It's a big shock package. They're not big, it's like a mediocre. But if you wanted to, for all the kids out there, like I would run a single eight inch coilover forever and you could beat that thing up, dude. That's right, I remember. You just have fun with it. Dude, is there any way to uh, to droop this thing out or yeah. to see what, what yeah. it could look like? Yeah, yeah, we could put it on the lift. We can put it on the lift and see how the truck looks drooped out or we can um, naturally droop it out off a dock. Off a loading dock. Is that, is that something you say we do the loading dock? I say we do the loading dock too. What do you guys say? Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> nice. So we're here with Khalil right now. He brought us out to a local secret spot. Let's see what's up. Let's see what this thing can do. That was butter, man. Butter. That spool life, huh? There was it. That spool life, dude. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't seem to be working out so well. The, the 4.0, 4.0 just can't move those big tires, but. Smooth, man. Dude, this thing is awesome, man. Super stoked to be able to uh, share the truck with you guys, and I uh, hope you guys liked, like what this cook's up to, man. Woo. Good stuff, man. Khalil's getting rolled up on. So what happened, Khalil? He said that he saw the last video of my truck on Instagram and he works with the company here and that uh <laughs> on uh, Instagram. Yeah. Look at that ago, which was uh a global company, so they're watching it from uh, another location. Yeah, they're watching. What did that even mean? A global company means they're they're, they have locations all over the world. So. so we're freaking giving them free advertisement. Yeah. <laughs> so are they stoked? <laughs> he was not stoked. Oh, he was not no, stoked. Okay. Him. And they got license plate numbers and everything off the camera yeah. page. And uh -oh. so, yeah. Yeah, well, they made contact police. Yeah, they made contact. So we might want to split at this point. Yeah. Okay. This guy is kind of looking outside now. So okay. maybe, yeah. Uh, Let's get the hell well, out of here. That was it for today, huh? All right, man. Well, good right. stuff. Yeah. <laughs>